Good morning and welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16. Joining us in the studio is Megan Penny from Cranmore Mountain Resort. Megan, how are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? Good. Have you done some skiing, Megan? Have yes. you Have you been able yes. to get out? I sacrificed some time to get out there. There you yeah. go. <laughs> you had to do it. You had yeah. to find out what the conditions are. And how are the conditions? I can't say anything better about them. It's amazing. Like, this is the greatest winter. It's so much fun. Conditions have been awesome. It's just been snowstorm after snowstorm, and it's just been super exciting. Yeah. I mean, did you think about last week, and the fact that we got snow on the weekend, and then, you know, Saturday, we got snow yep. over on, into Monday, snow again on Thursday, just unbelievable. And that's just adding up there on the mountain. Exactly. Yeah, the, you'll definitely see when you drive into the mountain, it looks a lot different than last year. Everything's covered in snow. All our trails are open. We're 100%. Tree skiing has been amazing. And then, of course, we have something for everyone at Cranmore with all our trails there. Now, uh, I imagine this is a good week, too, to learn to ski. It would be, yeah. It's going to be nice outside. Conditions are going to be awesome. And we definitely have our kids rule going on and our get skiing program going on. So that stuff's available at the mountain. And what week. is it? Why don't we just explain uh, what is the get program? Get is our basically learn to ski or ride. So it's for ages 13 plus. It's a two hour lesson that includes rentals, a lift ticket, and then the instruction, of course. And then you can always work your way up. So we have get two and three after you finish get one if you like it enough, which we hope you do. Um, but basically it starts in our beginner terrain and that beginner basin area on terrain-based learning. And then they'll take you to the next steps if you want to continue and to get two and three. But that's an awesome way to get on the mountain and kind of experience that first skiing or riding. Time. Now Cranmore is one of the few places uh really in the country that has terrain-based learning. So yep. let's let's give them a little idea of what terrain-based learning is all about. They're basically small builds that kind of help to kind of show you how to turn and slide on snow as opposed to doing that snow plow and all of the kind of the old-fashioned methods of teaching. Right. So it's a newer way. And I think it kind of makes people a little bit more confident because it sort of stimulates turning instead of kind of just sending you straight down the hill. Right. So you'll see rollers, you'll see the S-turns. Um, they're just small builds of snow that make it a lot simpler to learn how to ski or ride. Absolutely. And, it, you know, it, it can be a little intimidating. Right. And so being able to do that, and especially as an adult or, or someone who's older who hasn't learned to ski yet, what a great way to do mm -hmm. that. Um, you know, you're a little bit taller, you have a little bit further to fall, but exactly. it makes it so much easier <laughs> so that doesn't happen. Definitely. And as opposed to the classic get up to the top of the hill and have your girlfriend push you down the hill yeah. or whatever. Not Don't that that happened to me. <laughs> um, but, uh, but that's okay. We're married now. So, you know, it worked out. It, it, it ended up working out okay. Um, but it's a great way to learn to ski. It's awesome. And uh, I was there a week or two ago and just watching the people there on the terrain-based learning, it just it, it makes for... Way less pressure, for Way sure. less pressure. Absolutely. Yep. And so what else is going on during the week is, I'm sure there's stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on. So we have s'mores, see more of the penguin, music in the square every day. So that's right outside of the ticket office, the Schneider Square area. S'mores for sale. And then um, we have Opre and Zips daily through next Saturday. And then we have um, Cranapalooza coming up on the last Saturday of Vacation Week, so the 25th. Nice. And we'll have some roaming entertainment, more games, prizes, lots of giveaways, and fun stuff for kids and families. We like that. And, of course, yeah. you have the big deck there at Cranmore. Yep. And uh, you were saying they cleared off the big deck, so what a great – I mean, yesterday – I was saying that, I said, well, you know, I, I feel bad for any of the skiers if they don't have their decks cleared <laughs> off because uh, just spectacular. It was amazing, yeah. So it'll be a deck day every day this week. Meister Hut decks should be, o I mean, Meister Hut decks definitely open. And then Zip's deck, brand new deck, which is a little bit bigger than before is right. open too. Now, have you seen anybody out there, like, are they skiing in their shorts and t-shirts yet? Not yet, but I'm Not sure yet. it's happening. Yeah, I, I just, I, <laughs> I can't imagine that, uh, that it wouldn't be happening. So. Right. And uh, so let's talk about that, the fact that you're 100% open. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. 57 out of 57 trails, packed powder, machine groomed. I think today we're going with the variable conditions because it's going to be a little bit warmer. So there might be a couple softer spots out there, especially right. being south facing at Cranmore. It'll be warm, right. but it's been awesome. Conditions have been great. We've gotten, I think, 33 inches of snow in the past week. And then in the past two weeks or so, we've had over three and a half feet. So. 
Unbelievable. I really don't think you could ask for much more on a vacation week. Not really. Now, let's talk about the glades, too, because, yeah. you know, that's one of the last things to get open yeah. in ski areas because it's the natural snow. So let's talk about the glades. You've got a bunch of glades. We do. We have, some, we have some good ones, too. We have some wider ones. So if you haven't been on one before, you might want to try one at Cranmore. Um, there's a lot off the north side of Cranmore. There's some down the front. They're basically, there's a lot of hidden little ones that people really like them. And they're and that, fun. And that's great. And they're, but they're easy to find. You know, yeah. They're well marked and everything else. You don't have to. It's not like the mystery no, room there. Like, you got to try to find it there. Yeah, no, you'll, you'll find it. Well, that's great. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I hate to start thinking about this, but, uh, you know, we're coming up, you know, we're ending up February vacation week. Then we'll have New Hampshire vacation week yep. the following week. And then we're really going to start getting into some spring activities. What do you got planned for it's spring activities? It's going to be spring very soon. Yeah. So, of course, we have the Hannes Schneider Meister Cup weekend, which is coming up in March. So we have a couple new things planned for that. Um, this year, they'll be racing on the alley again. We moved our race course over yep. from um, that area on the north slope. So that'll be something new. Last year, it worked out well because you could see from the third floor deck up there. Right. It was a nice new little observation spot. So that's a little change up for this year. And then we'll have our spring splash at the end of March and just tons of great spring skiing with the warmth at Cranmore. Well, that sounds great. <laughs> and that is one of the things, you know, Cranmore, you know, with their, the south-facing slope, mm -hmm. You know, if you get one of the, I don't think we're going to get one of those colder days this week, but <laughs> no, if you do get one of the colder <laughs> days, it's one of the great yeah. things. That, and then today, just, you know, bring the sunscreen. Yes, for sure. Definitely yep. bring the it's sunscreen. It's going to be bright out there. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Megan, thanks so much for coming by. Thank you. And uh, have a great vacation week. Thanks. And I'm sure we'll talk to you soon. Yep. And we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.